Hello, my Balfours. Gwen here. Gwen is my name. It's part of my witch game. Um, welcome to the pick a card reading for next week, um, starting Sunday, the May 24th, uh, until the end of the week, Saturday. My last video, again, I'm, I'm still doing the pick a card where you pick out of a group of four. You're going to pick a stone that resonates with you. Timestamps will be down below. It's me communicating with your spirit guides to communicate with my spirit guides what comes across for a message. So, without further ado, let's get started. Right, guys, so here we have the pick the cards for four groups. Group one, starting to the left, there is Moonstone. Group two is the Carnelian Stone. Group three is Spirit Quartz. Group four is Mother of Pearl. Again, starting to the left, we have Moonstone, Carnelian for group two, Spirit Quartz for group three, and Mother of Pearl for group four. So I'm gonna leave this up for a minute um, so you guys can have a moment to decide. Please stop and um, see what stone resonates with you. And the reading will start in three, two, one. Hello, group one. Welcome, this is your reading. And if you picked the Moonstone, again, group one, this is yours. Okay, okay, let's get started. All right, guys, so I'm gonna start with the tarot cards. Um, you started off with the Two of Cups, and that's upright. Ooh, <laughs> and if you've seen a couple of my videos, I talk about reading reversals, because I do. I want the whole message, good and bad. Can't have the light without the dark. Mm. But yes, it is upright. <laughs> and then we also have the King of Cups upright. Mm. Okay. And then we also have the Six of Cups. Isn't that pretty with those sunflowers? Oh my goodness. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and do the reading for those cards, then um, also have the energy cards as well. And then also one wisdom message from the wisdom oracle, tar uh, wisdom oracle tarot cards, okay? So for the two of cups, this is kind of like almost like the lover's card, but not, not really. Um, this is like a partnership, negotiations. Um, doesn't necessarily mean have anything to do with love, but it is. It, it is it is kind of like a love card. It's kind of like the karmic divine, a match made in heaven kind of thing, if you believe in that thing. Um, but yeah, it, it was meant to be by the universe, okay? Um, so your intuition is definitely telling you this is right. Um, it could be like a job, a partnership, like I said, um, and it, it could be love. So that's pretty plain and simple for this card right here. Then we have the King of Cups, okay? So let me see if I can put these together. There you go. All right. And so for the King of Cups, um, this is uh, having control over emotions. Um, but it is also, also asking you to take some quiet time to reflect on emotions of a certain situation, okay? Um, this needs to be looked at for part of your growth process. So there's something that's coming up um, that, there's something that's coming up where everything's feeling good, but, um, and you like being in that state, but you can't ignore a certain response to a certain feeling forever, okay? Um, can't do it third card is your six of cups all right so I'm gonna put these together like this so you've got the six of cups over here um, and probably I should rearrange them so you can see them the way they came out so you're kind of like looking at them from left to right okay there we go so for the six of cups here on the end um, it talks about finding place of you like from your youth um, and 
you're really thinking about something that's more from a simpler time when things were really going good, you know, like we're always like, man, I wish I was a kid again. Um, there's something that's really going on where it's getting a little overly complicated and um, maybe you're just refusing to look at it, um, but you cannot, okay? Um, but, you know, it's, it's really time to just kind of recharge um, and enjoy life. I kind of feel like maybe this is what was going on. Definitely this is what the card, this was kind of going on before and what's manifesting into now. Um, so it's kind of like past, present, and future. And, um, yeah, so there's definitely a lot of pieces involved. I kind of feel like maybe this is like a family. Um, and I know, again, crazy time, y'all. It's crazy times. But we're not going to get into that. And I know that there's a, a lot of stuff. And it, you might be feeling like you're having to carry the weight on your shoulders. So maybe longing for a simpler time. Um, but, yeah, if you have those feelings acknowledge it and address it you know call it out and get beyond that fear you know we always want everything to be like happy joyous and free but sometimes it's not like that so addressing those issues okay so let me go back to the two of cups and the reason why I say like maybe it is the family things kind of rearranging out of control right now um, so with that card, because it is a happy card, you had the the blossoming abundance, and this was upright, okay? And the blossoming abundance, it talks about increase in wealth and value. Um, you may or might already have had um, some really unexpected dramatic way of money coming in <laughs> maybe stimulus check maybe we're getting another one <laughs> um but yeah um that's kind of what it is it's like the universe has your back and you might have an unhealthy attachment of things that you worry about for the future just live into today you know um you're you're gonna be okay um the universe is giving you a gift um, but it's telling you to be grateful and in the present and enjoy versus looking at the times of where things were simple. Um, because when things kind of go back to whatever we call normal, um, it's going to be a different term of normal. So, um, yeah, so there's that. Then we have the King of Cups. And the King of Cups, you had the strategy card. I'm going to flip this up for right now, but it was in reverse, so I'm sorry. But again, spirit guide's getting the message across, okay? So you got the strategy card, all right? And in reverse, okay? And then when we talk about the strategy card, it's, it's kind of like making a plan, putting that into play. But the plan, obviously, in reverse, it, that, that it didn't work. Um, there's a certain goal. There's a certain goal in mind of where you want to be, but there's no strategy, okay? Um, you need to have some time to reevaluate things and think about things, even though you don't want to, you have to, okay? And, um, don't be a passive observer, uh, and take action, okay? Um, I have pulled this card for another reading before, um, but I kind of feel like it's just being at a loss of just kind of like, oh, I don't know what to do. Well, go through those letters of the alphabet and make some plans, and if you run out of letters, go through the numbers, okay? Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it, except you do need to ask yourself some questions, and I'm going to give you some questions and maybe what you can decide, because um, honestly, I think with all these cards, they were all cut cards, and so um, yeah, it, it's the whole, it was from the same, the same suit of cups, and that was pretty surreal. So, um, overall, it's not really like a, a very dramatic thing that's going on in your life right now, um, but it is giving you some confusion um, on what to do, but it's kind of like the universe telling you it's okay, but you got to put in some action, okay? I'm really big on that action, man. I'm real big on that action. In your third card, we had the Six of Cups, right? Talking about looking at a simpler time. And then your energy card was the goddess of the moon, okay? 
And the goddess of the moon is talking about intuition and going within. Mm -hmm. So talking about that reflection, even though you don't want to, you don't want to look at it. Um, you need to find some inspiration to kind of get back. Um, I think maybe you kind of looking at a simpler time, maybe that's kind of putting in some of that intuition in for you on maybe what you could do in the moment. Um, and uh, you do, th this card is really telling you, you do have the power to get intuitive information of all types. Okay, so you might be in a loss and probably seeking for an answer, and you do have that power, okay? Um, now is the perfect time. It is telling you, now is the perfect time to open up, okay? Okay. So your wisdom card, the overall message for this reading, was the love card. Isn't that beautiful? I love, I love these cards, man. They just like the whole meanings behind them in the book and interpretation and the imagery of it man I, oh my gosh i i love him um but yeah this is the love card and it's kind of like an aphrodite figure here um so maybe you work with the deity that's aphrodite hmm. um but it's a symbol you know again of love you have like the dove kind of like a symbol of peace um you know, there was something else that was really interesting, and I'll bring it up in just a minute, kind of when I do, like, the end note for you. Um, but there's a lot of imagery pieces that kind of correlate to one another. Um, but, yeah, anyway, back to this card. Um, the goddess of love, me, um, Aphrodite, that's who she is. And she talks about, um, or is a symbolism for fertility and beauty. And the landscape in the back is very distant. So I kind of feel like it's her sitting there, um, you know, because it's so far away, it's talking about the past time. Um, and things, this whole art looks so simple, you know, so simpler time. And uh, maybe you're just kind of thinking into things too complicated and you need to look at that a little more simpler. And um, finding gratitude in things that are happening right now. Um, but you also see, I don't know if it's going to show up really well, but um, for the majority of this card, it's in a really deep violet purple color. And when we talk about like uh, the deep violet purple, it's um, talking about uh, the color of your crown chakra. So again, it's a lot of thinking of stuff going on, maybe a lot of mental emotions. Um, so you need to connect with your higher plane, okay? Um, you know, we, we, the card talks about, um, we easily forget how spiritual we are, um, because we are, because we are mortal, you know, and, um, you know, maybe you're just kind of like lacking that inspiration or that guidance or feeling like you're going in it alone and, and wishing for a simpler time and feeling like you are going at it alone, but you're not. Like you, Your guides are here to tell you you're not alone and you're going to be okay. The universe has your back regardless, but you got to put it into action. So don't be like, oh, Miss Woe's me, you know, and, and yeah. So um, that's pretty much what's going on for that card. Um, it talks about blinded by fear, scarcity, and material survival. So I kind of feel like things were going good, wishing it was going back to that time where we had the other cards coming up. Um, you have to remember fear and love cannot occupy the same space at a time, okay? That spoke to me from the card. Um, it's in the description for the card, but that thing just kind of went boom right in my face. Fear and love cannot coexist in the same place at the same time, okay? Um, it's calling you to realign your mighty healing power and of love so the light shines the pathway. So you seem a little lost right now. You're going to find your way. Get grounded spiritually and the inspiration will come, all right? Um, other things you can do, give love and, and receive love as much as you give. You'll, you'll get as much back. What you put out to the universe, you get it back. Um, overcome issues and past hurts. I kind of feel like that there's something going on that, um, again, it could be, um, 
unhealthy attachments to certain things like material and if you feel like it's something that's very unhealthy look at it you know look at it work through it process it again I got a video up about shadow work and step four mm -hmm. and it kind of helps process that stuff and I'm actually going to do another video second to that um, and that should be coming up soon so anyway um, but yes explore those emotions okay uh, yeah and leave judgment and prejudice at the door okay leave prejudice and judgment at the door throw it away all right you got to get ego out of there so start anew and you'll get on that much higher plane but um as far as working with your intuition um the cups really spoke out to that i'm gonna pull that card out real quick but um yeah it's kind of like the cups with all those here i mean you had the two cups the king cups right and um the six of cups all right i'm gonna put the love card down for right now but you had all those cards and um the questions you really should be asking yourself is um what feelings am i avoiding and what do i need to look at to process okay um, are you feeling guilt or unworthiness in your life? Okay. Uh, guilt, uh, no. Turn feelings, are, are you going to turn your feelings into guidance? So if you're feeling a certain way, what are you going to do with it? Okay. And um, how to bring in more love to your life? You know, find whether it's listing 5 or 10, 15 or 20, <laughs> you know, things of gratitude that happens through the day. Um, putting that po positive energy out in the universe and giving you a positive aspect in life. And um, what emotions or blessings are in disguise, okay? Um, but yeah, just you need to get in touch with your feelings and emotions, so don't stuff them. It's not healthy. Um, also, this is what I found interesting, okay? I'm going to pull this card up again. The abundance card there's a lot of yellow either yellow is like your favorite color um get some sunflowers man and put them in your house like it's, it's gonna make the day better you know or just stop and go in a field or you know see some yellow sunflowers or daisies or something and just be around those you know simple simple things simple things then the other thing i found interesting with these cards is you see here on the king of cups All right, you got the the waxing moon here, and you do have the goddess of the moon. It looks like different phases. It's almost like it's going through like an eclipse, but or an eclipse. <laughs> but um, it almost looks like a, wa a, a a waxing moon too. And so this is kind of like to reaffirm that you need to take action and ideas of, of inspiration to bring in the good. Okay need to take some action my friend action I'm really big about that so group one um, if anything resonated with you please comment below um, if you are not a subscriber please subscribe like or love and uh, share this video and um, until then till next time till next week guys peace love and light to you and I love you Mwah. goodbye my bell floors Hello group two, welcome. This is your reading. If you picked the carnelian, isn't that beautiful? Oh my goodness, fiery, very fiery energy. Mm, okay. Okay, so the first, first I'm gonna start off with your tarot cards. Then I'm going to pull out um, energy cards for each tarot. And then I have one wisdom oracle message for you for the overall reading okay okay eight of pentacles <laughs> nine of pentacles is the first one then the second tarot that came up is your um ten of cups and remember gwen she reads reversals good and the bad okay gotta have the whole message then uh the empress the empress 
was in reverse, guys. So what's going on here? What is, what is happening? What is happening? Okay. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with the first card, okay? So the Knight of Pentacles. I don't necessarily see this as you, okay? I think this is the man. Maybe it's a man in your life. Maybe a prior man in your life. There is still some sort of connection with him. Um, and you're really wanting to make sure that there isn't. This is what I got from the other cards that I have, okay? But the Knight of Pentacles, it talks about them being ready for the next task. Um, it, it's really not like a bad card, um, but I feel like this is a lot of the character traits um, of this person. And for him having the pentacle in his mouth or beak, I feel like this person is so into money. I mean, don't get me wrong, money's great, but it's not everything. Um, but I really feel like he does not have a healthy attachment to money. Okay, very greedy, very, very greedy. Um, so with this card, um, this person likes to typically like complete a task before they move on to a new one. Um, so again, it could be um, dealings with like a coworker or business partner. Um, they they typically will keep the promise for things to be successful if they're helping you. Okay. So I think that's the reason why it's like he's coming in on that dark horse and like I'm coming to save the day. And um, yeah, but um, I'm going to leave it at this before I dive into the other cards, okay? So then you have the Ten of Cups in reversed. All right. So the Ten of Cups in reverse talks about disconnect or unable to spend time with loved ones, okay? So I kind of feel like when the other card came up, the Empress in reverse, um, I feel like it's a family. There's a little bird's nest right there. There was a happy time. Um, then you've got the husband and wife, um, but the, it's upside down, yo. Mm -mm. Okay? So... When the Ten of Cups, um, when it is upright, it's talking about like times of celebration, those types of things. Um, very joyous time, but right now it's just not. So, um, but yes, it's a disconnect or unable to spend quality time with loved ones. Maybe, um, maybe that's what kind of made this not work. Okay. And this, that's what I'm getting. It's the message. Okay. Then we have the Empress in reversed, okay? So, I believe, I believe that this is the female, if it is a female who's watching this, um, because again, I want to be inclusive for everybody, okay? <laughs> but again, Spirit Guides has a message, and this is what I got. So, obviously, you got the man who's upright, and he's looking, you're actually looking in his direction, okay? And you're looking at what your past life was like, but obviously um, it's upside down right now. Um, so the Empress, it talks about motherhood, abundance, business success, creativity, and um, she is an earth element, okay? In reverse, um, there's a disconnect between friends, family, or your environment. Um, and yeah, it's just, you're just not really, I kind of feel like you're just going, going, going. You're not really feeling like the Empress upright. Um, I think you're just really working so hard. And um, yeah, it's just, you're not really feeling like that fierce queen self, you know, like a queen bee. So um, yeah, but you know, you have a lot of fruits of your labor, like if it's upright, I mean, it's a beautiful card. I mean, you, there's so much I think that you have accomplished so far. I mean, you even have the sun, like the sun is shining on you. Um, there's like, you know, a very lush um, foundation there. Um, but maybe you're just not seeing that because of other things that are going on. Okay. 
So going back to the Knight of Pentacles, all right? Knight of Pentacles had, the reason why I say it was Guy, okay? Knight of Pentacles, okay? You have the Magician in the reverse. Magician in reverse, uh, well, let me start off again. It's the Magician and the Mirror, okay? He is a, Jesus. Sorry guys, I had to stop because a bird just hit my window. I'm in the office doing the reading for you right now, and I was like, why is my husband, like, playing around, you know, like, popping in the window, and I'm on the second floor. He can't just jump up and hit it, you know, and, oh, I hope that bird's okay. I'm going to tell him and check it out, um, but anyway, um, I'm going to go check myself, but moving on. Yeah, bird hit my window. Whew, okay, so... I got a little scared. <laughs> I got a little scared. I just really hope that birdie's okay. I think I saw him fly out, um, and I believe he is okay. I did see it, like, not fall back, but it just kind of just went away. <sighs> Moving on. Mm. Uh, Magician in the Mirror and the Knight of Pentacles. So, the... The magician here with the mirror in reverse, I feel like um, they know that they have a power, and when it's upright, it's always beneficial. It's not to, um, um, you know, it, it, it's really tapping into that power and, and being successful. Reversed from the book, okay, it talks about not using the power within you. Um, and you need to open up to your inner energy. But I feel like in this case, it could apply to you for that statement. Um, but if since it was under the Knight of Pentacles, I do have like, so sometimes the cards have different meanings for me when you look at them. And that's for everybody who reads tarot or oracle cards, right? You don't necessarily go by the book, okay? I kind of feel like this magician uh, in and the mirror is very deceiving um like kind of he can do all these tricks or whatever and make it look like a certain way um and he's using that power um and it's to throw you off of just a bit okay so it's some kind of deceiving um you know the eye of the beholder kind of thing so that's what I got for that. So again, I think maybe for you opening up to your inner power um, and, and using it um, for the person who um, is on the other side of this, on the receiving end, but this I kind of feel like is describing the person of him not portraying to be who he was, okay? Then we have the Ten of Cups in reverse, and um, then there was the Angel of Love energy, okay? And this card kind of talks about the love for yourself, um, and when I pulled these cards prior and I was taking notes, that's what happens. I, um, I take my notes, I look down and study them and, and see what comes across. Um, she fell sideways, so I read both meanings, okay, and then I take what resonates. So, she fell sideways to the right, meaning she was going towards the Empress, and, um, or the Empress, and, um, this is talking about love for yourself, okay? Love for yourself before it can be extended to other people, all right? Um, in reverse, it could be a divorce or separation that's gonna, that's in the process, in the making. So you see why I was talking about this, the family card and there's male and female? Mm-hmm. Um, there's emotional rift between two people, okay? It's emotional, okay? Um, this talks about letting go of toxic relationships. So there's something that's going in the works. There might be something going on this this coming week that that is coming up, and um, yeah. 
So you need to honor yourself, love yourself for it to be extended. And what I find interesting too, like when I pull this card, so we talked about the bird's nest and the Knight of Pentacles was looking at the relationship and the Empress, the mother, was looking directly at the baby's nest. So I do kind of feel like there is a separation, a divorce that's coming, okay? And y'all are looking at different goals. Like he's not ready to let you go and it's not even about the kids, but you are more worried about the kids than you are about the relationship, okay? So being honest, being true to yourself, having that self-love, um, so that way you can um, give it in return, okay? Then we have, with the Empress, it was the uh, the garden at the gate reversed, okay? And even though this is reversed, it's actually a good sign. Uh, it talks about um, that um, the garden um, at the gate, you are in a spiritual pursuit. Okay, and you are realizing what matters in the world. So, um, you know, because like with this upright, it's kind of like not really knowing if you, you're tending to your garden right now, but you're looking on the outside and seeing what else is out there. And um, not really sure if you're wanting to go on the other side of the gate, basically. Um, but I think you are getting there. You are getting there. Okay, you're getting there. I like it. Um, but yeah, just realize that spirit has got your back. Um, you're taking the actions necessary um, to get to the other side. So there's something that's going to come flying out next week, but don't forget what you've been working so hard for, okay? Going to the other side. So, I love it when the cards do this. I get so excited, okay? So I was talking about family, baby, you know, kids in a nest. Wisdom Oracle, new beginnings. And what does she have in her hand? A baby, she's got a baby, all right? So I have pulled this card before um, in another reading and it does talk about um, fresh starts, um, taking new beginnings with you. You see her looking at the past and being like, I'm moving forward and I'm taking the baby with me. Yes, yes. So, um, your, your aspirations are going to become in reality, okay? So know that it's going to work for the better. I believe, <laughs> I believe that if it is going to be a uh, court proceedings, you may get the kids, honey. You may get the kids. So group two, I hope you enjoyed this, this reading. I hope it resonated with you. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Um, and until next time, my ball floors, I love you. Peace, love, and light to you. And I'll see you next time. Mwah. Bye. Hello, group three. Welcome. This is your reading. If you picked the spirit quartz, okay. Mmm. I love that spirit quartz. Kind of reminds me, <laughs> kind of reminds me of a unicorn. <laughs> but I do love it. It's not a unicorn, but I do love it, okay. Um. So this is your reading. Moving on. I'm going to start out reading your tarot cards. Then I'm going to add the energy cards that uh, correlate to it. And then give you the oracle message. The wisdom message. Because you know we all need some wisdom, right? We started out with the first tarot card. Is the strength card. Okay. Then we had the... Two of Wands, and if you watched any of my videos, I was like, mm. but actually this one actually read um, in a really good way, okay? This was actually really kind of beautiful, like in a bittersweet sense, um, and then this is the Page of Swords, okay? Okay, so let's start off with the first one. All right, so... The strength card, all right, major arcana, ones you got to pay attention to. So this card portrays a female, all right, 
Um, the strength card talks about inner strength, obviously, um, passion, virility, and confidence. Okay. Um, out of experience, um, lear you've learned to move your ego out of the way, which is really good. Um, and um, using your inner peace. You know what's important to you. It's you finding peace and getting ego out of the way and looking at all the aspects in, in your life, right? So um, you, you've been taking out the, the, the ego self and, um, and uh, not letting the fear stop you, okay? Um, and really just being a very strong, very... Um, man, like just very much so just strong okay very strong female um then the next card we had was the two of wands okay so this is like people coming together all right and two of wands it talks about um coming together accomplishing for the same goal obviously two of wands different ways to get to the same results to balance the world okay so there's going to be a partnership of something um, to achieve the common goal, and um, it's going to require you to get out of your comfort zone a little bit, um, but it's a good thing. It's new experiences coming, okay? So then we have the Page of Swords. And the Page of Swords, I actually think that this is a young female. Not going to lie, okay? Because the page is talking about like learning and, and all that stuff. Um, and I say it's bittersweet because, you know, this kind of looks like the bird has been going through some stuff. And uh, it's lost some feathers along the way. You know, there's like three feathers kind of kind of going off. Okay. And so it's learning something new. There's movement, energy, and communication that's happening. Okay. Um, so even though you lost the feathers through what you're going through, um, you're going to come out better on the other side, okay? And I feel like those three feathers that fell off to the side, I feel like that those are the problems or the people associated with a certain situation that you're in, um, that you're going to be leaving behind, okay? So energy cards now, okay? All right. So energy cards, we have the hostility in reverse, and even though the hostility is in reverse, that's actually good. Um, upright, it means it's just you're getting opposing forces just at you, and it's just in your face. And the hostility is in reverse. It talks about the hard times and dispositions that you've been experiencing. They're going to come to an end. Um, but still, action needs to be done on your part, okay? Action still needs to be done on your part. But um, it has to happen in order to get the other stuff removed out from the other side. Okay? Then we have the Two of Wands and the Cornucopia. All right. So the Two of Wands, Cornucopia is wishes fulfilled um, and the blessings are coming. Okay? So it. It seems like whatever is formulating, it means that it it's going to be good all the way around. Um, and it's going to be really nice and fruitful. Um, and it's just going to be a, abundant blessings. So, um, again, it requires the action. Um, work, the work you're going to be doing, it's going to pay off or the conversations that need to be had. Um, it will be fulfilling for you. Okay? Then we have the Page of Swords. Page of Swords. Again, female energy with the woman holding the heart. Okay? And the woman holding the heart, it talks about um, a female dealing with family love and emotions. So that's why I said I do feel like because she's looking in that direction. Um, where the, the crow is with the feathers, mm -hmm. it's, um, I think it has to do with like looking at with what the problems were in the past, but, um, this is good. This is really good. Whatever the situation is, it's going to resolve. Okay. Um, 
this could also be another female coming in to help you as well okay um it, it it's most likely a female presence and um she's very even tempered she's very loving and caring and she resonates with you okay so i know it might not feel like it right now um but um you do have a great support system you have a great support system love it love it love it love it so then uh the wisdom card for the overall reading talks about sanctuary and that was in reverse but i'm going to move it upright because we want to be upright am i right am i right sanctuary so the sanctuary card it talks about um what i got out of it is that when it was in reverse it talks about that um, you're you're not feeling a place to call home, okay? Not feeling a place to call home, and you're trying to seek an escape, okay? Um, you need to find a place where you have that that re where you can feel the resolve and feel safe, um, and really just kind of look at everything from a different perspective versus being right in the middle. Um, and just taking that time to get renewed for yourself. So, um, in the long run, I think what decision that you do make, um, it's going to help you get attuned with choices you make in the future and it's for the better. So, um, yes. So long story short, my friend, I believe that, um, this is a young person, a female, there's some family stuff going on and, um, you have a lot of loving support and they're going to help you along the way and it's going to be for the better. So my bell floors, um, group three, if you enjoyed this reading, please like, share, subscribe, and please comment below if this reading resonated with you. And until next week, I'm going to leave you here and I'll see you. All right. Mwah. Bye. All right. Hello and welcome group four. I love this part. We've made it if you've been continuously watching. Um, but if not, welcome. I'm glad you're here. So if you picked the mother of pearl, okay. Mm. All right. This is your reading. I'll go ahead and read the tarot cards first, then add the energy cards for each tarot card. And then I will give you your last wisdom card, your oracle wisdom. Have the three of cups in reverse. There we go. Then we have the knight of swords. Okay. And then we have the hierophant. Okay, so we have these two in reverse and the Hierophant upright. Remember, I read reversals if you're watching, okay? <laughs> I read reversals. Light in the dark. We need it. Okay, clear message. So, let's start with the beginning, shall we? So, the Three of Cups is in reverse, but when it is upright, let me show you. So, I love, oh my God, I love the Crow Tarot deck. It's just, mmm. So this is a time of celebration when it's on upright, okay? But since it is reversed, okay, that means there's not really much to celebrate right now, okay? Um, you're not, I kind of wanted to ask the question, and maybe it might resonate. Do you just feel like you're not being heard lately or you feeling bullied? Maybe getting ganged up on? Okay, um, this is what that card means. And um, it's talking about um, maybe you should take some time to connect with some friends um, that have been drifting away. So there's like something that's kind of like lacking right now. And um, yeah, you, I think you just kind of feel like you're ganged up on at the moment. Okay. Then we had the uh, Knight of Swords in reverse, okay, and the Knight of Swords, like upright, um, you know, it, it talks about like a bird being on a mission, 
um, even with opposing forces, so just kind of moving on. It's not necessarily a bad thing, but since it's in reverse, it talks about that you're probably feeling like there's a lot of stuff going on, okay? The other cards we're going to explain later, okay? Um, and you're just feeling scattered, all right? You're just all over the place. You're just kind of in that fluff, 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 all right? And, um, oh, man, I'm not doing that disclaimer. A message needs to be heard, okay? And Spirit told me. I'm not using that as an excuse. There's messages that need to come across, and they need to be addressed. Okay. Then we also have the Hierophant card, all right? Hierophant card, it talks about education, tradition, religious institutions, and a higher learning. So this talks about the bird right smack dab right in the middle. Um, that is a cautious bird, um, and he's, he's learned to be cautious because of past teachings. Um, so it's learned a lot. Um, and it serves as a warning for you right now that this is not the time to be making decisions outside of the box, okay? Um, this card is providing guidance to you. So when I look at these cards, you are feeling ganged up on. You feel like there's so many things that's going on and you're just out of sync with it all. And you have like two people right there and I kind of feel like this could be you or somebody else. Um, I think that there's going to be like some sort of divine kind of guidance that's from another person that kind of knows like what they're talking about or what, what's being experienced. You might think you know, but I don't think you have any idea. You just don't. And um, you should not be making any rationalizations right now and making decisions. Okay. So, energy cards. I'm gonna give you a talking to. How about that? We have the Three of Cups in reverse and the Deceit card. Deceit, Deceit, Deceit. Um, the Deceit card, um, when it's in reverse, it talks about things falling away. So, upright, it's talking about somebody's deceiving you. I don't think that this is the case. I think that things that were once hidden, they are coming to light. Okay? So, um, there is going to be a time of peace coming. Um, but that negativity and that dishonesty, um, it's going to be on its way out. So, I think things are coming to light. And that self-deceit, that lying, if it is lying to yourself on how things are, it's going to show, okay? Um, you need to find the love and respect for yourself, okay? So, um, yeah. <laughs> I, mm, I'm trying not to get too personal with these cards, but man, I kind of feel like I've cracked open something this week. And before I started making this video, there were some things that were brought to light and, um, I pulled these cards before I learned some stuff, okay, in particular. Um, I want these best messages to be like as a collective all the way around and quite honestly I kind of feel like there's times where we're going through the same things in the world but it's very different when I hear things and it kind of gets into my bubble and I'm like, ooh, okay, moving on. So. The reason why I say whoever's watching this is you. So you had the 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 Knight of Swords, and you there is a storm. There is a storm warning. All right, and when I read them, when I pull them, they're automatically up like this. Okay, you see how that tornado is right there? It's like you're getting sucked into that tornado, and I really kind of feel like this is your own making. So when I put the cards up like this, you see how this picture is forming? And the reason why Gwen is talking to you the way that she is is because she says it out of love and it is tough love. But this is your own making, okay? I'm not trying to bully you, 
but I was trying to get you to see the light, okay? Whatever is going on, whatever troubles you think you're having, this is of your own making. You need to cut it out, all right? Just cut it out. And, um, yes, but when we talk about the storm card, let me get, let me get personal emotions out the way. <laughs> um, again, I asked spirit guides and just the way that it came out, it just happened. All right. I'm sorry. But anyway, um, the storm warning talks about difficult, difficulty internally and externally. So you're feeling the opposing forces internal and external. Okay. Don't be fearful. Um, look at your options and honor yourself. This too shall pass, okay? You are protected and have strength to get past the storm, all right? And then when we move on to the Hierophant, we talk about the door to romance in reverse, okay? So here it is, upright. All right, and then when we talk about the door to romance when it's upright, it's talking about new beginnings of love. This is not the case, all right? It's all upside down. And it's talking about a delay or disappointment um, where love is concerned, and there's going to be a distance and separation, okay? Uh, make yourself a priority. You are deserving of love for yourself and for others. You cannot give love if you do not have love for yourself, okay? So, this is where we are with that. All right. So, the Wisdom Oracle wants you to know that you need some strength. And it's in reverse. But I got to do side note for this because, like, if you look closely at this picture, doesn't she look like Stevie Nicks? Like a beautiful Stevie Nicks? Like, I don't know what it is, but, mm, like, ooh. I love it. Anyway, <laughs> um, so the strength card in reverse, it's wanting you to think about, are you aligned with your ego or your higher self? Like, are you just doing certain things, um, whatever the situation is that these problems are? Is your ego getting in the way or are you looking for something that's bigger than you for what's your next right move or your next right action? Okay. Um, she is carrying what it looks like is the world on her shoulders. You see that? Is it getting heavy? I think it's getting heavy. Um, <laughs> um, you need to see all perspectives and aspects. Okay. You just do. And things need to be dealt with and you don't want to look at them or deal with them. And you need to. That requires strength. Okay. Um, I did another reading and we talked about the victim role. You don't want to play the victim. Okay. You need to get out of that victim mentality mindset. You can't play it anymore. It's done. All right. You've been had. Things have come to light. You need to face the music, my friend. Face it. All right, um, and I did write down um, from the book um, for this card, it talked about, because it's the weight of the world on your shoulders, um, the quote is Philip Brooks, quote, and it says, I do not pray for a lighter load, but I pray for a stronger back. Mm, okay, I do not pray for a lighter load, I pray for a stronger back, okay. So there is people involved um, for this reading. Um, the card in the middle is you. The 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 knight. Um, uh, oh goodness, I can't even remember. It was the um, the knight of swords falling through that tornado of your own making. Hmm. And um, it is involving a family. I truly believe it is involving a family. And um, there's rash decisions that I think you're thinking about making and you really shouldn't be making rash decisions or those rash decisions you have been making have been coming to light. Um, and you, you can't hide them anymore. You just can't hide them. And you're using others as an excuse and that is not fair. Um, outside external forces, whatever. You can't use them as an excuse anymore. You need strength. Okay? You need some strength. Alright? I love you. I say it with love.
I say it with love. And I'm going to leave it at that. <laughs> um, but yeah, guys, like these, these card readings for this week, like I feel like they've been hitting closer to home. So, um, yeah, it's not... Let Gwen get real here for a minute. Like, as much as I want to put... Um, get out as a collective into the world, I feel like my world is expanding. And I feel like spirit guides are telling me things that are really, truly of importance. Um, and um, telling me before things are already starting to happen. So, um, again, I don't believe that it's just one particular person going through this. I do believe that it could be different people, it could be different places, but the situations can be the same. So, with that being said, group four, I know Gwen gave you talking to, but I do say it with love. Um, I just want to see you be better. Um, and get ego out of the way and move to higher self. You know, it, it, it helps you in the long run. Let me help you. Okay. So if you resonated with this video, group four, please comment. And if you have not subscribed, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Um, until next time, till next week, I love you. Peace, love, and light to you. And I will see you next time. Bye, my Bell Floors. Bye.